Hey first graders, Mr. Bollum here with a couple of plastic bottles that are going to help me show how air pressure uh, it can be quite interesting. So I've got a water bottle here and you'll notice I've got the cap screwed on and I'm a pretty big guy and I'm pretty strong but when I try to switch this water bottle I'm squeezing as hard as I can and I can't squeeze that water bottle closed all the way because there is, whoops, it looks like there's still a little bit of water in my water bottle, but mostly it's the air that's in there that's fighting. I can't squish it because the air is taking up the space. Air is taking up space inside the bottle, and it has nowhere to go because it's trapped. So now I'm going to take the cover off the water bottle, and easy to squeeze. The air that was in there, much of it got squished right out of the bottle. So the air that was taking up the space, there I put some more air back in there and it expanded the bottle. Let me see if I can dump out all those little water drips. So a little trick you can play on your uh, uh, an adult at your house is um, ask them to squish a water bottle and see, say, can you squish this water bottle but make sure you put the cap on before they try to do it. And then they won't be able to do that and then you say, well, I can squish the water bottle, make sure you take the cap off, and then just go, oh, and it's so easy because of air pressure. I couldn't squeeze it the first time, and the second time I could. Another fun trick you can play on somebody is, um, I've got a little ball of paper, and another, I didn't want to use a squished one, so here's another uh, plastic bottle that you can see. I'm going to take the piece of paper, and I'm going to set it right on the edge of the bottle. So it's sitting right there in the neck. Oh, it fell in already. I want to try and blow it in there. It's tricky to do with this bottle. It's got a little bitty neck. So I'm going to try to blow that piece of paper right into the bottle. Sounds so easy, doesn't it? But watch what happens. It didn't go in. It blew out. Good thing I have an extra one here. It blew out. It's not in the bottle. It blew away. I'm going to try another one. I have a bigger piece of paper. Maybe a, a bigger piece. <laughs> go, go. It's easy to go in there, but I can't seem to blow it in there. I'm going to try one more time. It came out again. It won't go in the bottle. And the reason it won't go in the bottle is because the bottle already is full of air. So when I try to blow in, the air is coming out. So the air that I'm blowing in around the edge makes the other air come out so fast that it's blowing this air out of the bottle. More air is coming out because I'm trying to put air in there, but the bottle's already full. It's full of air. <laughs> it won't go in. It just keeps coming out. Let's try that again. <laughs> Comes right out of the bottle. It's not going in. And that's because there's air in there taking up all the space. And I can't put more air in unless some air comes out and that makes the paper fall out. If you can play on an adult at your where you live is see ask them to see if they can can you are you strong enough to blow that paper in there and it won't work. So a couple of fun tricks using air pressure. I hope you enjoyed those.